What's going on everyone? Rabbit here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine turtle coin. Turtle coin. Turtle coin. Turtle coin. Turtle coin. I'd like to thank today's sponsor crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to for actually using my crypto for real life purchases. With the crypto.com Visa debit card, it makes it easy to use my mind assets to pay for my power, purchase new GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, hard drives, as well as collect 8% cash back wherever Visa is accepted. If you would like to sell straight to your standard bank account, you can easily request an e-transfer which usually shows up the following day. On top of all that, Crypto.com also offers trading, simplified DeFi, as well as staking to help you increase the revenue on your crypto assets. Join over 10 million plus users buying and selling 250 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost. By using my affiliate link in the description, you will be granted a $25 funding bonus. Or enter code RABID, R-A-B-I-D, at the sign up. And remember, crypto has its risks. Just like everything else, do your own research. What's going on everyone? Rabbit here and welcome to the Rabbit Money YouTube channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up and bell notification to be notified for future videos. I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine turtle coin on your CPU in Windows 10 as well as Hive OS. But before we get into how to mine, let's take a look to see where you can exchange this coin. Moving over to CoinGecko.com, we can see a price of 0 0.00001 of a cent. Scrolling down to exchanges, we do see Mexi Global, Trade Ogre, Hotbit, and CoinX. Now, it's a good thing. I really like seeing Trade Ogre in a bunch of CPU mineable coins. One, I can easily swap into a coin like Raptorium if you want to mine something more profitable potentially depending on the market and then add into that raptorium smart node also it's non-kyc if you're unfamiliar with kyc that is know your customer this is anonymous trading you do not need any type of id or anything now the first step into mining any coin is getting a wallet so you can store those coins and get an address that you can actually mine to so on their website here turtlecoin.lol Yes, it is .lol. You can see pick a wallet. Now they do support Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and CLI or web-based wallets. We can just click on the Windows symbol here and this will bring you to the download page for their Windows Core wallet, which is the one I am using. Number two, if you know, if you want to look for some information, they do have links to their Discord, Twitter, blog, GitHub, as well as LinkedIn. Uh, there's the link to their blog here as well. And number three, where you can get all their latest updates and everything that they write about. And then pretty much all the information you need on TurtleCoin is on their website here. Link in the description. Once you get your wallet set up, it'll look something like this minus these transactions. Now, I only did mine this for maybe an hour or two, not even quite two hours. I did notice it was using more power than previous coins I have mined. So I kind of turned it off, but I do have 16,000 turtle coins here in less than two hours. So that's not too bad. I do have eight 3,900 X's, two 3,950 X's and one 5,950 X that is sitting in my workstation that does mine part time. Now, once we have our wallet here, we're going to go to receive and you will get your actual address that you're going to mine to. You can just copy that to clipboard, save it somewhere or just leave this open for later on when you do begin setting up your miner. So once we have our wallet set up, we are gonna have to find ourselves a pool. And over at mining pool stats right here, we do see we have C3 pool, which I believe, yeah, it is a multi-coin coin profit switching pool. Uh, we have turtle coin club. I did use hero miners, so I'm gonna use hero miners in this tutorial because I have everything set up for it already. So I'm gonna be showcasing that for you guys. But if you wanna try a different pool, then obviously whatever the pool addresses are, just change that out, come to this website, find your own pool and go from there. Here I am at Hero Miners and this will have all the information you need for connecting to the Hero Miners pool. Same thing for any other pool, their dashboards will show you all the parameters needed. Now I am using XM Rig. link will be in the description. So first thing we are gonna have to do, I'm gonna show you two ways to actually go about setting this up on XM Rig and Windows. First is using your actual JSON config. So we're going to need our algorithm here, which is argon2 slash chuckwave2. It just recently had a fork about the end of last year sometime, 
two chuck wave two and this is the pool ports and addresses you are going to need pick the closest one to you now i am from canada and it does have a north american east canada but i do find that using west usa servers have a better latency for me once you do download xm rig you will get something like this inside your folder once it's extracted now the first way I'm going to show you is using the JSON config file itself. Now I do find if you're using XMRig for multiple coins, instead of editing this file all the time, just set up a bat file for each individual coin. That way you can just come back and double click on your bat file instead of re uh, setting up that config file. It makes it that much easier. But first we're going to look at this actual config file setup. Once you open up that JSON config file, scroll down till you do see something that starts saying your address here or something. By default, it'll have all default. It'll say your address here, uh, you know, default pool, URL, whatever. So we're going to have to set up our algorithm here. Again, default here will just say null. So there won't be anything and there won't be any quotations. But as you can see, on here, we do need that algorithm of Argon2 and Chuckwave2. So we're just going to copy that, paste it into this spot right here, and you are going to have to add in the quotations on each side. If you do not add them in, it won't work. So next up, we're going to have to add our URL. You can leave coin as null. We're going to need our pool address. That's your URL on this function here. And we're just going to take that from the pool as well. Again, I am using, uh, what is it here? West USA, so US turtle coin hero miners.com 1160 is the port copy that over paste it in into this spot right here beside the url user this is your wallet address so that's where you just i gotta put in my password now because it tends to delog itself anyway so we're gonna go back in here we're gonna hit the receive button copy that the clipboard and then you're gonna paste that in right here now, if you want to name your rig, if you only have one rig, it doesn't really matter. If you have multiple, you might want a rig name, whether it's rig one, rig two, rig three. This is my workstation, so I name it Rabbit WS. So at the end of your wallet address, you just put a period here, and then whatever you do want to name that worker name, and then you can add a password if you'd like. Default is X, and you can leave it at that. Once you're done all that, all you have to do is save it, and you should be good to go. Once that is saved, I always like to right-click on my minor program itself go to properties compatibility and check mark the run this program as an admin that way if you ever forget to right click and actually run it as admin it'll do it by default so as you can see i double click here and it's asking me to run it as administrator and here we should start seeing some accepted shares and there we are so next up i'm going to show you how to do the actual bat file and i'm going to copy this whole thing in the description so you guys can see this as well you can just copy and paste it over to yours and then you can just change everything to your wallet address the pool you want whatever and so on remember i am using us west pool so if you're from europe or something you're going to want to use a different pool address because it's going to be too far and your latency will be higher than you probably like but the purpose of this is because now i can go with turtle coin if i want to go to raptorium i can just double click on raptorium and i can easily switch instead of re-editing that config file every single time here i am inside that bat file and everything's pretty much exactly the same thing we did before except in a different type of format so here you can see dash A, this is our algorithm. That's where we copy argon2 slash chuckwave2 straight into there. Dash O, this is our pool address with our port. So we just copy the pool address and port that we want to use into this spot here. Dash U, this is our wallet address. So you just copy your wallet address in here again, period, whatever your worker name wants to be. And another benefit here that makes it easy is you can also adjust your threads used on your CPU by going dash dash threads equals and then whatever number of threads you do want to utilize while mining this coin. Once you've done all that, if it's the first time setting this up, don't go to save because you're just making a normal text document. If you're making something new from Notepad, you're going to want to go to save as, and then you're going to want to go from text documents to all files. And then whatever you do name this bat file, mine is called turtle coin. You're going to want to put dat dot bat at the end of it so it does actually convert this into a bat file and not a text file 
Okay, now that you got Windows figured out, let's slide on over to HiveOS, which is pretty much my go-to when it comes to mining crypto and an operating system. This makes everything so much easier and you know it's just way better in my honest opinion some people disagree and like windows better but this is just my point of view so i'm going into wallets here we're gonna have to set up our wallet mine's all set up i'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you've never done this before we're gonna go add wallet type coin and ticker i believe turtle coin is here somewhere there we are trtl so you can just click on turtle coin you're gonna paste your wallet address into here and then you're gonna add your wallet name. So turtle coin or turtle or whatever you wanna do, turtle video because it's a video. You just put that in there, it'll be labeled. And then you just hit your create wallet. I'm gonna cancel all that because I'm all set up ready to go already. Next step is to make the actual flight sheet and a flight sheet in Hive OS is like your miner in Windows that all the programming that we did before with your algorithm and everything. But Hive OS usually has everything already built into it. So we're going to pick our coin here. We're going to pick turtle. Where's turtle coin? TRTL, TRTL. There we go. Turtle coin, a wallet name. So mine's just called turtle. Remember, whatever you named your wallet will show up here. If you have multiple wallets, name them something. You'll remember what it's for, like CPU mining test, CPU test, or whatever you want to do. And now we're going to pick pool. Hero miners is already in here. So I'm just going to pick USA West apply that and then we're going to go in and use xm rig new now i always recommend xm rig if a cpu coin has uh if it supports that algorithm xm rig is usually the way to go it's one of the best miners when it comes to your cpu now you can see the hash algorithm it's already set up as chuck wave 2 now it's saying it slightly differently than before because we got that Ar aragon into here but here we don't have to it already has it's saying turtle coin right here and we do know that it recently forked to chuck wave version 2 but if it's not here for some any odd chance you can just come in here like see right now it's gone uh just type in chuck to you find it trtl so remember chuck wave 2 trtl wallet templates already set up for you url set up it's pulling everything from the previous pool you picked uh, worker password, whoever this worker is already named in Hive OS, it'll pull that name. So everything's named already by itself. All set. Don't have to do any of that. I just like to click on these, add these parameters in. If it's a brand new flight sheet, sometimes your CPU is off. You're going to want to make sure you click that on. And that's it. You're up and rolling with Hive OS. You apply your changes and you should be good to go. To actually engage that flight sheet just pick the rig you do want to use example here i'm going to use rig one which is currently mining raptorium go to my flight sheet scroll on down till i do find my turtle coin right here turtle test xm rig new xm rig hit the old rocket ship button and that's it i will now begin mining in hive os so it is that easy like it is so much faster and easy to navigate set up coins swap rigs around multi rigs whatever you want to do in hive os over something like windows i find in my personal opinion anyway so about 20 seconds went by and you can see we already have turtle coin hash rate so we're up and rolling on turtle coin with rig one all set to go so Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions at all, be sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description. Maybe consider hitting that join function, become a channel member. It greatly helps out the channel. And as always, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and bell notification. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't seen one of these, be sure to check them out. And if you already seen them, maybe you missed some, might have to watch it one more time. And if you just let it play in the background, that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.